welcome to the channel once again the name is guru boy so in this episode of activation lock uh, iCloud remover we are going to use the free tool called the program this to remove activation lock or hello screen also known as the iPhone lock to owner so in this video I'm going to show you all the steps on how to use program this to remove iPhone lock to owner so in case you forgotten your Apple ID and password then you can use this video to unlock your lock iPhone so without wasting my time let's switch onto our Windows machine and begin the procedure okay so here on our, on our Windows desktop we have the program this right over here so I'll leave the link in the description for you to download and also I will, you will have to extract it to have this folder so before you do extract make sure to move to settings and make sure that your real time protection is being turned off so move to settings then privacy and security so under uh, privacy and security move to windows security then in windows security make sure you go in for virus and threat protection so click on virus and threat protection and it will pop up a new window and in virus and threat protection move to virus and threat protection settings so under it you see manage settings so click on manage settings and and in there you will find red time protection so make sure that red time protection is being turned off so when the red time protection is being turned off you can now close all windows and move back to the desktop so on our desktop we are going to use the program this right over here and now if you do have the zip file you can extract it so i'll leave the link in the description so in program this folder you find the program this tool in there so let me resize the file explorer and drag it to a place you, you can see so in here make sure to launch the program this so here we do have the program this tool over here and there's the interface of the program this so all we are going to do in this is to connect the phone in normal mode connect your phone in normal mode and all we are going to do is to generate the activation file so we've connected our device in normal mode so we have to move to options in options make sure you check generate activation file so you can uncheck this two file that has been option that has been already checked or leave it as it is after checking generate activation file move back and now you will see generate generate files so just click on it to generate your activation file so wait for the activation to be successful so after successful we just have to put our device so we have it right over here activation file generated successful successfully so we have to put our device into dfu mode so click on ok and file explorer should show you your backup folder and so here we do have the backup folder right over here so we do have our backup right over here so if you do open it you should now you should have this file two files in here and uh, the fair play folder inside the backup uh, file so now we do know we have our backup file intact let's close from the file explorer and in program desk we have to put our device into the fu mode so if you don't know how to get your device into the fu mode you can just google your iphone type and just get your device into the fu mode so in here i'll open d 3 2 and when i get into the uh, the fu mode 3 2 tell me that my device is in the fu mode so now here yeah, let me use the key combination for my device so if you do have the iphone 6 or the iphone 6x 6s plus and you can use this step to get your device into the fu mode okay so we now have our device in the fu mode so since our device is in the fu mode let's close from 3u2 and also head back to program this folder and just put our device into into pan dfu so here move to gaster folder in program this move to gaster folder 
just click on gaster folder and open it so in here in gaster folder we are going to land the zadek 2.7 right over here so click on zadek 2.7 also wait for Zadek to open and we have Zadek right over here also let's open device manager let's open device manager by clicking on the windows icon by right clicking on the windows icon then move through the list and go in for device manager so open device manager from here and here we do have device manager right over here so let's um, resize the size of the device manager so here we have the device manager right over here and let's move back to the program disk move to the program disk and now uh, in the program disk a uh, file directory box type in cmd then hit on enter so you should now have a terminal being showing as it's been shown here just resize your terminal so here i'm, I'm resizing my terminal make the desktop look good for you so now let's hide the terminal for now since we are not going to use the terminal for now you have to do install the drivers also so in device manager you, you, you have to make sure you have the apple mobile device usb driver not apple mobile device usb device make sure you uninstall the apple mobile usb device if you do have it under the universal serial bus so now we do have the Apple Mobile USB driver. Let's move to Zadek, move to option and check for list all device. Now make sure you select Apple Mobile device and now change the driver's type to lib, lib USB key version 3.1.0 then replace the drivers with the lib USB. So wait for the installation to be done. Okay, successfully we have the lib usb drive drivers uh, device being installed successfully so you have to click on close and um, move into your device manager and make sure you have lib usb key usb device and in the device manager and under it you should have the apple mobile device dfu mode so all we have to do is to open the terminal so in here in terminal type in gaster type in gaster space then you type in p pw n then you hit on enter so when you hit on enter the exploit should begin and you should now have as if you do succeed in putting your device into pandi if you see the last option saying or the la last script line saying your device can now boot on trusted image so now let's close or hide the terminal and also do the same for Zadek so on here we have to uninstall the lib usb since we have successfully we can boot on trusted image we have to uninstall the apple mobile device under lib usb so make sure you uninstall it so when done make sure to you make sure you refresh your device manager or unplug your device and plug in your device and make sure you have it under the serial universal serial bus controller you have your apple mobile device under universal serial bus so when you do refresh or scan the device manager you do have the apple mobile usb driver under the universal serial bus so right over here we can move into our program this folder and check for device so when you do check for device you have a successful prompt over here saying device is connected successfully and we have to register ICP CID so registration of the ECID is for free so just copy your ECID and move to re register here click on it and the website of program this will show up or the registration panel will show up just paste in your ECID and you can see the number of iPhone being registered under this tool so let's just paste in your ECID and click on register and register for your device or ECID to be registered so as ECID is being registered so you can move back to the program this and also close from the 
browser so in here you just have to click on options and make sure that skip activation skip after activation is being checked and you can check on check the backup iCloud info or leave it as it is so you just move back and then click on start and in here before you do click on the jailbreak device make sure you download the ram disk for your device so you click on download ram disk and move through the list and you have to select your iphone type so if you don't know the iphone type in which you are using you just move back to your program this and you will see it inside the program this tool so just make sure you download the product type of your iphone device so here i have the iphone 8 comma 2 so after downloading it successfully just move back to your program this folder and in ram this in ram this just drag and drop your program this or the ram this file into the program this ram this folder so we have it over here so we can now proceed and click on start um here is my device click on jailbreak so you have i have my device being shown on the screen so click on jailbreak device and just wait for the exploit to be finished so i will fast forward the exploit or the jailbreak so in the process of the jailbreak or the exploit you might see um a logo on your screen or a verbose boot depending on the ram disk which was available on the program disk mega website which you downloaded so or and also what, what you have to put in mind is to have a successful ssh successful connected so in here i do have ssh connected successfully so you can click on ok and now move to the next step by clicking on next and you will have the option to activate your device so just click on activate device and wait for your device to be activated so let me fast forward this step So after sending backup files onto your device successfully, you should or your device should boot up and after booting up it will skip the activation or iPhone lock to owner and you will be on the home screen right over here. So you do have our device on the home screen, just click on the just click on the home key and you will be taken to your home screen. So in this video or in this tutorial you will be able to sign in into your iCloud services and the only limitation with this is you will not be able to use SIM card as you do see this prompt on the screen so that's it there is the free method on how to bypass activation lock on your check screen device or check me 8 exploit devices so make sure to leave a comment and also give this video a like and let me know your challenges with this tool and also you can donate to the developer of this tool for his good work on this tool thanks for watching make sure to subscribe peace out